Tony, um, extra time needed, but semi final for Camel Lords. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great for us, isn't it, really? Um, I don't. I'm gonna be realistic. I don't th really think. I don't think we played that well, but I think that was down to the, you know, how well they are going forward. They've got some real quality. Um, we've got players who can open doors. Led better. Luke Holden, Alex Taylor. You know, so we knew a lot about them. Um, they caused us all kinds of problems. I thought we rolled our luck a little bit. They hit the bar earlier on in the second half. But then, you know, we had a couple of chances ourselves. But, you know, it's it's a day I'm proud of. You know, managed a, I'm managing a club who's got to the semi-finals of the League Cup. We've beaten Skemmersdale. A weakened Skemmersdale side, to be fair. Chorley, Medellin. Bamba Bridge. Uh, Round one extra time. Was it? Yeah, was that in this Sophie as well? So Jamie Anders and Joel. Yeah, so Bamba Bridge, Skem, Marine, Chorley. All the way. And now Northwich Victoria. And it's a fantastic achievement. It's something I'll be immensely proud of. And I'm made up for this for my club. You know. It's just, it's just, you know, words, uh, words fail me at this moment in time. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm happy for the players, and I'm happy for this club because in five or six years' time, if I'm here or if I'm not, and this club is on a, on an even keel, I hope people fondly remember the job that I've done here, and they look back at it and they, they, they say, you know what. He, what he done was the catalyst to us being, you know, back to where we belong. And I'd like to think I would, I, I've, I've started to, to book that send at this moment in time. You said you rode your luck a little bit when Danny Wisdom hit the crossbar, but, you know, the lads kept going. They kept going. And from where I was sitting, certainly doing the commentating for the radio, it was only looking like there was going to be one winner. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that it's down to the pre-season that we had. To be fair, those players, you know, were on the on Morton Shaw and they they were put through the paces and it's times like that that those sessions pay off. It's times like that that those sessions that that, that dog of determination, that will to run that extra yard, that pays off. And you know, it was touch and go out there. You know, I'm glad we've 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 managed to, to go through. You know, North, which were uh, I think they'd only lost one in the last. They lost the, they lost two of the last three, but before that, before they, that they, they, had, they, run, they yeah. had a great one. You know, Lee got manager of the month at the same time as me, January. January. Yeah. So we knew what we, they were going to bring bring to us, but. Um, it's just a proud day to be a fan of Camel Lairds. We can touch on Ashy Ashcroft. Um, third time now this season, and he must be sick of the sight of Camel Lairds now, mustn't he? No, he's a you know he's a he's a good manager, isn't he? You know he's he's had some really good jobs, and he's a, he's a good manager. You know I've known him from my playing days, and you know you probably have you know we, we you fall out and you fall out, but I've still got the utmost respect for him as a manager because you know he's. He plays a type of football that is good to watch, you know, and he's, he's he attracts good players, and that's down to him. That's not that's not to do that's not to do with budgets or clubs. That's down to the players he can bring in, you know. We had a, a goalkeeper there, Dicko, who's my old my old mucker from Southport, you know. So he's a he's a good manager, you know, and I've got the utmost respect for him, you know. I might not see eye to eye with him. But that's football, and tomorrow I won't, you know, I won't lose no sleep over falling out with them, and he certainly won't lose any sleep over, over, you know, over it. He'll, he'll prepare his side to try and get in the playoffs, is what we'll be, you know, trying to do for Saturday, and you know, so it's not like you get anything over anybody. I don't see it like that. I just see it as, 
you know, Camel is getting into the next round of the club. You know, um, he won't lose no sleep over it either. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not one, I'm not one of those managers who, 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 who takes pleasure in, in beating, beating other managers, because I don't see the point in it. For me, my job is to, to make Camel Lairds move forward, and if if it means, you know. You know, beating people who have played against or beating people that we know along the way, then so be it. Because if they beat me, you know, I'll still shake their hand and I'll still tell to them congratulations. You know what? You know, it's great when I'm standing here when we're when we're winning. It's not so great when you're losing. But at this moment in time, I don't see I don't see it as getting one over anybody. I just see it as I've got a job to do and I've got to move Camel Lairds forward and that's that. Small headache in the fact that we're now taking up Tuesday. Saturday till the end of the season, so we'll have to squeeze this game in on a Thursday now. I mean, no, I don't think that's the case. I think what they're going to do is play there on the Saturday. That's going to take precedence on a Saturday. So that'll so replace we'll the league fixture. Yeah, that'll replace the league fixture. So that's why I've got a squad of players. We've made two signings tonight as well. So that takes us up to about, I think, eighteen, nineteen, and that's. I think that's strong enough. There'll be some lads who are left out. And yeah, we've brought a goalkeeper in, um, Ish L Longy, and we've brought a forward in, who um, Chris Dagnall, who was at, not the Chris Dagnall that you're thinking about. I see Sid then, oh, Sid got all excited there with his little suit whistle and flute on. No, Sid, you're all right. Um, we brought a, la a, a young lad. I must admit, I stopped for a second no, myself then. No, no, we've we've brought a young lad in who's played at this level before, and it's just to freshen things up and keep things bubbling over nice and 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 in terms of you know we need bodies and and that's it really. You know that's that's that's. I think that's the only bit of business that we'll probably do, I'll, unless something becomes available and wants to come and play for Camelheads. You know we were let down last week by a player and. Who, but you know that's his op that's his choice, and you know good luck to good luck to anybody who, who you know if I speak to them and they don't decide to come, good luck to them because you know, at the end of the day you know it's not you know it's no no it's off my nose it's disappointing but that's football you know I've had a lot of disappointments in football so someone not signing for me is is not a major disappointment to me. Uh, before I wish you all the best and we look forward to Saturday in the league and getting back to the playoff hunt. Um, Sean Richards, if I can talk about Sean for a minute, he's he's not had a lot of football of late. He, he, he sits on the bench and he gets on with it. He, he, there's no moaning from Sean. I've I've noticed that. And he's come on today and he's played 45, 50 minutes of football, and he's been absolutely outstanding for me in that right back position. I just thought he deserves a mention for that. Um, there's Sean Richards, Georgie Robinson, Georgie Robertson, and Tom Ireland, Ellis. Ella Sealing and Foley, who were on the bench tonight, and the average age of them is 20, 21, and they're young and they're learning, and they'll learn a lot, and you know I'd like to obviously give them all an opportunity, but we're at the business end of the season now, we're at the end of the season where the decisions that I make you know, have, could have a major impact on, on what way we are going to go for the rest of the season. And, you know, Sean had an opportunity to go out on loan last week and he, he said he didn't really want to go. And I respected him for that decision. And, you know, I've got a lot of time for Sean, but there's no sentiment in football. A wise man once told me, if you want a friend in football, buy, it, buy a dog. And he's right, because, you know, Loyalty amongst players is, is something that isn't in a lot of young players, but in Sean Richards it is. And that's the biggest compliment I could give the kid. I've got a lot of time for him. I've got a lot of respect for him as well. And most Im the most important thing for me is that little badge on, on, that, on, my, on my track suit and on that shirt. That's why he's here. Because he, he wants to be part of something that we're trying to build and achieve here. And I hope that we do, that we can that we can do that. Um, he's come on today, and rightly so. He, he's put a few demons to rest, Sean. Uh, last time out, he started was Marine in the cup, 
He was supposed to start tonight, but I, I changed my mind and I apologised to him for that. And the last time out, he had a really good 60 minutes and then he makes a mistake and they score. And, you know, things like that knock the lad's confidence. But, you know, he's, he's come on today and he's put a different perspective, a different, shed some new light on it, on the situation in terms of in the full-back areas because I thought Stephen Ferrigan was outstanding. He's done really well to stay on the pitch, Stephen, because his, his game is, is, is tough and it's tackling. So, you know, Sean's, Sean's had a go. He's done really well. And, you know, we'll, it's, another, it's another afterthought. But the lads will, you know, it's not just about Sean. There's, you know, there's 19, 18 lads there now. Yeah. The squad is well equipped. There'll be twists and turns from now to the end of the season. But, you know, let's just, let's just take stock of what we've actually achieved this season. We were supposed to be relegated. The bookies' favourites for relegation. Seventh in the league, eight, eight, eight in the league, as we stand. Yeah. Four points off the playoffs. Yeah. That magic word that you've finally got me saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four points off what you would love. Four points off what I can only dream about. And the semi-finals of the League Cup. I'm standing here a happy man. Before I let you go off, one word answer. Can you win this cup? The hard way. It doesn't matter what way you do it. I know certain clubs who won a lot of trophies a certain way, but yeah, we we will do, if we do, we will win it the hard way. And if we get to the final, I think getting to the semi final is a major achievement for us, isn't it? Really, considering what you know, considering what we have to, what we've what we've been through as a club on a journey. Just you know, I've I've told, you know I've me Barry and Macha have got Camel Lads football club to the semi finals of the league club. Uh, just it's it's surreal, it's it's a it's a dream. I'd like to before I finish, Toddy, come here, <laughs> come here, Todd. Well, see, this, see this man, see this man last season. You know, he, he, we were we were going through some really bad times, and he stuck by me and the rest of the committee. So I want to say thanks. No, you proved us right, Tom. That's a good thing about it. And keep it going. All right. Cheers, boss. So it's the people like Toddy behind the scenes that that's a light for them, Super. and and another person as well who's not here to to enjoy tonight, and that's that's Donny. You know, you know it's a sad. It, we're, we're a club in mourning at the moment, but that might just be a little bit of sh little bit little ray of sunshine that that we need in in the times in this times now. Tony, also Saturday, all the best. Cheers.